Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at equations of proportion where there is direct and inverse proportion in the same question. So the question we're going to have a look at is on the screen, so feel free to pause the video and have a go, but otherwise stick with me and let's get started. Okay, so in this question we're going to look at quite a tricky direct and inverse proportion question. Now as with all of these, I'll link in the description full lessons on this so you can have a look at direct and inverse proportion and also link in some of the hardest questions on this particular topic. But for this question here, let's have, just have a read so it says h is inversely proportional to p and p is directly proportional to the square root of t. And then it tells us some values. It says given that h is 10, t is 144, when p is 6, find a formula for h in terms of t. Now that's interesting there because it says find a formula for h in terms of t. But h is going to be in our first formula and t is in our second formula. So we're going to have to think about how we're going to do that. But first we need to actually find their formulas. So we'll start with the first one. h is inversely proportional to p. So our inverse proportion formula will say h is equal to k over p. And then we'll substitute our values in. So if we put the values in in the question, we know h is 10. So 10 is equal to k over and p is 6. So multiply both sides by 6, you get 60 is equal to k. Or you could write that as k equals 60. And there we go, we've got our first uh, one of these formulas here. So we'll put that 60 back into our formula we have h is equal to 60 over p. And we'll just highlight that because that's our first formula there. And now we'll have a look at the second one. So for the direct proportion question, we have p is directly proportional to the square root of t. So p equals k root t. So no fraction in that one. Now let's substitute our values in. So p is 6. So 6 is equal to k root 144. Now you could obviously write the square root of 144 straight away, so we know that's 12. So let's change that to 6 equals k times 12. We could write that as 12k. And just swapping that to 12k rather than k times 12 can help quite a lot with this next step because you immediately spot in this case we need to divide by 12. Obviously be very careful as we are doing this without a calculator as well that when you do this you don't accidentally divide by 6. Obviously just spotting that 6 goes into 12 twice sometimes people make that mistake so just be very careful to divide by 12 so I'm even going to write that step out 6 divided by 12 is equal to k and we can simplify that so that actually comes out as a half and I'm going to leave that as a fraction rather than writing it as 0 0.5 it's up to you you could obviously change it to 0 0.5 if you prefer but I prefer working with fractions when I'm not working with a calculator so for this let's just write our formula so we have p is equal to one half root t and there we go there's our second formula looking at the direct proportion so now we've got our two formulas i don't actually need any of this working out now so i'm going to get rid of all of this and we're just going to focus on these two formulas so for these two formulas here how are we going to get a formula for h in terms of t now you can see in the first formula it says that h is equal to 60 divided by p and our second one actually tells us that p is equal to a half root t well, if p is equal to a half root t, what we can do is take that half root t and just put it there where the p is, as they're both equal. It's like saying if p equals 5, well, you'd put p underneath 60 and you'd get a value of h. But this says p is equal to a half root t. So if we put it in, we just get h equals 60 over a half root t. And there we go, now we have a formula for h in terms of t. It says h equals, and in after the equal sign we have a t on the other side. We are kind of breaking one of the rules of formulas here, though we're not allowed to have a half on the bottom of a fraction. We have a fraction in a fraction. So to tidy this up and fix this formula, we're going to have to get the fraction out of there. There's a couple of different ways to do that, but the easiest way, I think, in this case, is just to multiply the top and the bottom by 2, and that's going to get rid of that half. So if we times the top and bottom by 2, we'll have h is equal, the top becomes 120, the half becomes 1, 
so we don't need to write one we can just write root t and there we go we have our final answer h is equal to 120 divided by root t so there we go if you want to practice any more of these questions i will link the direct and inverse proportion video and also the difficult direct and inverse proportion questions in the description but i'll quickly show you how you can go about finding more of these types of questions so if you want a more in-depth look looking at this topic, you want to go through some more practice questions, just understanding the basics behind this topic, I'll link the full video in the description, you can see it on the screen. And within that video, if you click into the description, just like this one, you'll see that all of the topics are listed there as well. So even if you're not sure on that topic and you figure out the bits that you're not sure on, they're all there, they're all linked to the description and they're all there for you to practice. So hopefully you found this video useful and helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you for the next one.